Well, uh, ever since this uh, Israel-Iran tension have started rising up, there were clear uh, concern about the people and the businesses that these two countries uh, have been having a stake, uh, especially the aviation business, which of course needs a freedom over the airspace, uh, especially in the conflicted zone. Uh, ever since that Russia-Ukraine war has happened, we have seen multiple uh, airlines have uh, taken, uh, diverted their routes, uh, avoiding that conflicting airspace between Russia and Ukraine. And that has added a lot of cost also to several aviation uh, company around the world. Now with the Israel and Iran, you know, gearing up for an upcoming full-scale military fight. Uh, at least that is what it seems uh, if we go on with the kind of statement that is being made by both military leaders and the political leaders in Iran and Israel. It looks like a tension, uh, a full-scale uh, tension is very imminent and there could be firing and launching of missiles and drones and other aviation, uh, you know, stuff. Uh, and to avoid any loss several airlines across the world have started avoiding that uh, avoiding that route uh, kantas air has uh, diverted its flights to avoid iranian airspace and the netherlands has also closed its embassies in iran kantas airlines has directed uh, services will be diverted by singapore and uh, that is especially in the fear of iran israel war air france has also uh, you know uh, avoided that iran israel airspace we have seen several countries including russia uk usa of course uh, and uh, india also netherlands also norway uh, and several other european countries also sending out signals to the citizens that this is now time to exercise extra caution and keep yourself safe because of the escalating tension between the two sides india had uh, indian ministry of external affairs had yesterday released a statement saying that the, they should, the Indians should avoid traveling to Israel and Iran in the wake of escalating tension. Those who are already there, they should get themselves registered with the nearest embassy or mission. And also those who are working there, they should avoid going out, especially in the uh, unsafe zone and they should take utmost care of their safety and uh, uh, everything else that could keep them safe. Uh, registering with the embassies, of course, help embassies to create a plan in case of emergency evacuation. Uh, so far, there has not been an announcement by the Indian government whether there will be any evacuation plan. Uh, but as the situation continues to rise, one can never predict will it not be a step that the Indian government will have to take. Uh, for now, we know that multiple uh, you know, threat that has started coming in from both the sides, Iranian side and Israeli side, uh, that kind of suggests that the two sides are not backing down. They are preparing for a war, at least a conflict. Whether this conflict will be a limited uh, or isolated in some zones or it will have use of Iranian ballistic missiles and then of course the retaliation from the Israeli side as well. That remains to be seen because if that level of conflict starts, of course other countries present in the region will also drag into war. Uh, we have seen USA sending additional uh, naval capacity in that region to create a deterrence against Iran and its upcoming threat or possible military attack on Israel. Uh, Israel has been supported by several uh, European countries as well in the past. But will that be enough to deter Iran in order to take possible action against Israel? And especially this entire escalation has happened in the wake of Israeli airstrike in Damascus, which killed seven of senior Iranian uh, military officials and uh, that also includes Quds Forces Deputy, uh, Vice uh, 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 Guard of the Deputy of the Quds Forces. Uh, earlier, the Supreme of Quds Forces, uh, we have seen General Soleimani, Qasem Soleimani was killed by uh, an American attack that was also aided by, Irani, uh, by Israeli intelligence. But this time, uh, this was entirely Israeli intelligence Israeli input and the action was also taken by Israeli side. So far, the USA has said that they have not given a green signal, but Iran, of course, says that it was only after USA signaled Iran a go ahead that Israel uh, went ahead and did this attack. So clearly, USA is a complicit as much responsible as much Israel is. Iran has also sent messages through various of uh, the background channels that in case USA comes to rescue and support or aid Israel in retaliation against Iranian attack, then uh, USA forces, USA assets in the region will also bear the brunt of Iranian attack.
we'll have to see whether the situation continues to be tension uh, at this level of tension and go further down or these tension will also result in some real actions on ground that will send the panic across the world geopolitically geoeconomically and of course there will a lot of people who will also maybe uh, the, the, the stakeholders in this entire war operation that that might happen between the two sides because so far the tension continues to rise